Welcome back to the Guide to Mid-Journey Prompting. This is episode two, and in this episode, we're going to be talking parameters, structure, and basic shots to get you started in mid-journey. So let's dive into that right now. Structure and parameters are going to be two of the things that you need to know to get started in generating images in mid-journey. They're going to be used every single time you get into the shell. So we're going to talk about that. And these are not going to be all of the shots that are possible. People experiment with these things and find new shots all the time. I'm going to give you the basic ones and an outlook and loadout of different ones you can use to continue with this series and get more and more technical. As always, adventure with these things. Go follow people on X or in the AI community. You'll get constantly new different shots and things to use. The parameters are going to remain basically the same, so let's start with those. All right, so I've broken down parameters into three classifications, settings, styling, and references. Starting with settings, we've got aspect ratio, quality, and version. Version just handles which model you're using to generate the images. The most current version is six, which is what you'll want to be using unless you are doing some experiment going back for the older versions. Quality is something that I haven't used much, but it controls the time spent generating the image, so feel free to explore with that. Aspect ratio is the aspect ratio of the image. Common ones are one to one, 16 to nine, two by one, and three by two, but you can set this to whatever you want that fits your project needs. Okay, moving to styling. Here are the different options for styling the image other than just the things you put in the prompt. Style raw, that just lets you have more control over the image. It'll be more adhering to your prompt. Tile creates patterned images. No is a negative prompt tool so you can tell what you do not want to see in the image. And then chaos, weird, and style are C, W, and S. These are all for controlling the actual images. Chaos is used to differentiate the images. So as you can see in this example, they're all slightly different, the similar aesthetic, but slightly different. So that's where chaos comes in to control the variety of the images. Weird does odd things to the image. I haven't really used this much, but it's used to create weirdness in the images. And the style uh, parameter is used to control how artistic the model is and how closely it is adhering to the prompt. Higher values are less adherence, lower values more adherence, but less of an artistic style. Here are the ranges for each of those. They're all slightly different and style is set by default to 100. Okay, and finally we have references. These are relatively new features for Midjourney and they are extremely powerful. Style reference is used to maintain style between images or to combine style from previous images. So you will basically take a URL of an old image that you've generated or just a regular image from anywhere and you plug that into the end of your prompt using style reference and it will use the style of that image in com combination with any other images that you've put there and with the prompt to create the new image. The style weight or SW is used to tune how much those images are weighted in the prompt. Character reference is basically the exact same thing, only for the characters and sometimes the products or the objects in the image. And then the CW is also used to do the weighting. For characters, it also will help you with choosing the hairstyle of the character or the clothing of the character. So that's some of the parameters that are most frequently used. Let's move on to a prompting structure. All right, so there are two kinds of prompting structures that I'm gonna talk about, and these are the two kinds that I have seen in the wild. There may be more different versions, but these are the two that I've seen most commonly. The first one is what I am calling narrative or descriptive structure. So it's basically plain English descriptions with details of what the model should generate, plus your parameters. This is an example of one of those. Some people you'll see kind of write the prompt almost as if it's a story, talking about the elements they wanna see, but also talking kind of abstractly about the mood of the image, or kind of in a poetic narrative style style and this can be used to generate some great prompts and to get some very nice image results. The second prompting structure is comma separated structure and this is what I use most frequently. This is the order in which that I have found is the best to put the different things I want to see in the image or the different angles or lenses, shot types, and single word descriptors. It's preferred for me because I think it gives you more control of exactly what you want to see by telling the model just very plainly what should be in the image and what styles to adhere to. All right, so let's cover some basic angles and shots that you can use in your prompts. Okay, so here are the different angles and shot types. 
here are also a few visuals that go with some of these, but there are so many angles and shots that people are using and discovering that I cannot list all of them here. The main thing that you're going to want to do when you're defining an angle or a shot type is using the word shot, angle, view, perspective, things like that to define what you're looking for so that the model can understand. This takes a lot of uh, iteration and exploring to find and get exactly what you want. You can also go on to X and you can see a lot of people who have done some of this research for you. Something you'll also notice, I have cinematic still there. Sometimes you'll see things like dramatic shot or moody shot. Those are things des describing sort of the aesthetic of the image that you may also want to put. Technically, I think it is sort of part of the shot of the image, but that doesn't necessarily control things like the angle and the perspective. Okay, so that was a lot of theory. Let's put it into some practice here and go into the mid-journey Discord shell and practice with a single prompt to see what we get when we use the comma-separated structure and some of the different parameters and other things we've discussed. Okay, so running a test prompt here. What? What? This is just a basic prompt in the comma separated style and you can see we have the aesthetic of the shot the shot angle and a camera lens we'll talk more about camera lenses in another video uh, we have the subject and then some single word descriptors single phrase descriptors to give the image more uh, styling then we have the version we're going to be using using style raw for more control aspect ratio style is at 50 chaos is at 10 and weirdness is at 10 also i don't use that one much but we'll see what happens here then I did what someone should never do in mid-journey. I forgot to put imagine in front of the prompt, which is terrible. I mean, look how sad that guy is. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to fix this. All right, so the results coming in. So as you can see, there's some variance to each image. That's what chaos gives us, a little bit variance in the different kinds of images that are generated, the different angles, slightly different perspectives. Uh, we also, all of them do have the wide angle and the 35 millimeter lens, the minimalism and silhouettes as well as you can see here, kind of the shadowy figures of the trees. The greens and oranges are also visible in most of these images. This image, a little bit less so. But that styling and the weirdness factor, that's what changes everything and makes it so that it's a little bit differentiated from the prompt. So that's just a basic example of using the comma separated styling of prompt structure and also what each of those different parameters look like in the actual Discord shell. Okay, well, that's it for this episode, episode two. Episode three is coming soon. We're going to be talking about lighting and color, two of my favorite topics in Mid Journey. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to Zero One. Also, if you're enjoying my content, want to see more of this content more frequently, I have my own personal channel, Reagan McConey, and I do more short form content and more exploration with AI things on there. So be sure to check that out. And I will see you in the next video.